Now live at 5, former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin will spend the next 22 years in prison after his sentencing today. Back in the Northland, a neighbor and a police officer are being hailed heroes after saving two people from a house fire. Plus, what vital youth program will be staying in Duluth thanks to Lifehouse? And later. And tonight, we get a personal take from Duluth Airshow pilots. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS3. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Vaki. Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer, addressed the family of George Floyd today after others made victim impact statements during his sentencing hearing. Michael George reports from Minneapolis. I'm not going to attempt to be... In a courtroom tense with anticipation, Derek Chauvin faced a judge, judge to be sentenced for the murder of George Floyd. The court commits you to the custody of the Commissioner of Corrections for a period of 270 months. That's 270. That is a 10-year addition to the presumptive sentence of 150 months. This is based on your uh, abuse of a position of trust and authority and also the particular cruelty shown to George Floyd. Before hearing his fate, Chauvin had a chance um, to address the court. This time, due to some additional legal matters at hand, I'm not able to give a full formal statement at this time. Um, but very briefly, though, I uh, do want to give my condolences to the Floyd family. The full extent of our pain. Family pain. members made Never statements on how the case has affected their lives since the day last year when Chauvin was captured on videotape, kneeling on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes, ignoring his pleas for air. I haven't had a real nice sleep because of the nightmares I constantly have hearing my brother beg and plead for his life over and over again. Floyd's seven-year-old daughter, Gianna, spoke over video. If you could say anything to your daddy right now, what would it be? It would be, I miss you and I love you. Chauvin was found guilty of murder in April. Since then, the judges considered sentencing arguments from both sides, as well as victim impact statements and an investigation into Chauvin's past. Chauvin's mother addressed the court and her son directly. Remember, there is no stronger bond or love than a mother's love. Chauvin has been held in a maximum security prison since his conviction, segregated from other inmates for security reasons. With good behavior, he'll likely serve two-thirds of his sentence behind bars and the rest on parole. Michael George, CBS News, Minneapolis. Chauvin is expected to appeal and still faces federal civil rights charges for Floyd's death. In Florida, the death toll continues to climb today as rescue crews search for the missing at the collapsed condo building in Surfside. About 160 people are unaccounted for after 55 units of the building fell unexpectedly yesterday morning. Rescue crews pulled three bodies from the wreckage overnight, bringing the death toll to four. Today, crews are searching layer by layer and listening for any noises they think could indicate life. The cause of the collapse is under investigation. The 40-year-old building was undergoing routine inspection. Duluth police are investigating a crash that sent one man to the hospital. It happened around 1.40 this afternoon at the intersection of 47th Avenue East and London Road. Police say a car headed west on London Road collided with a semi coming the other way. Crews had to extricate the man driving the car. He went to the hospital, but at this point we don't know how bad he was hurt. The semi-driver was not injured. Police are still investigating what happened, but say drugs or alcohol do not appear to be factors. London Road has since reopened. Meanwhile, two people are in the hospital tonight and two others are being hailed heroes after a Duluth home went up in flames last night. It happened around midnight on West Linden Street in the Duluth Heights area. A neighbor woke up to her two dogs barking. Roxanne Dawn said she almost ignored them, but she could tell by the dog's extreme reaction that something was very wrong. She got up and saw the house across the street going up in flames. She knew two people were inside, so she scrambled to call 911. Every second matters. And if, if you were there, you'd be wanting that help too. So I, I have concern and love for my neighbor. And 
that's what it's about. A Duluth police officer is also being honored tonight. He was the first one on scene after that 911 call and rescued the two adults inside. We'll hear from the officer about how he did it coming up tonight at 10. As we mentioned, the two adults inside the home are in the hospital. Their injuries are not life-threatening. However, a cat did die in the fire. It also caused about $75,000 in damage to the home. Authorities are still trying to find out the cause. Here's a live look over Duluth tonight where a program helping at-risk kids get back on their feet will live to see another day. The Neighborhood Youth Services Program is part of the Hills Youth and Family Services Center. But when that organization announced it would be shutting down earlier this month, the future of the Neighborhood Youth Services Program and all of the kids it helps was up in the air. CBS 3's Emma Quinn shares more about the organization that decided to step up. Emma. Kristen, this morning, Lifehouse, a nonprofit in Duluth, announced they would be taking over the Neighborhood Youth Services Program to ensure it continues to help kids and teens. The program offers things like programming, school support, clothing, and meals. The program serves roughly 700 kids a year, ranging from 6 to 18 years old. Knowing the program was in jeopardy of closing along with the Hills, Lifehouse came along with an other community organizations to step up and help out. Starting Monday, the neighborhood youth staff will become employees of Lifehouse. Officials at both programs say they are excited for the collaboration as they tend to work with many of the same kids and teens and believe this could help the community even more. They're our future community members and we want them to flourish. And we want to teach them the skills and what that looks like and help navigate um, society and culture the best we can at an earlier age as opposed to later in life. The NYS program is held at the Washington Recreation Center. The city of Duluth also worked with Lifehouse to sign a new lease so NYS can continue to rent the space. And Lifehouse officials say the transition process has been pretty smooth and they're working with their community partners on more funding opportunities. The NYS team is looking for a new method of transportation for kids as they previously rented a van through the hills. Thanks, Emma. And by the way, Lifehouse is always looking for donations and help. For more information, we have a link on our website, cbs3duluth.com. Meteorologist Peter Kevakowskis is here for a first check of the weather. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We've made it. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so not a bad day overall. Temperatures climbing into the 70s and 80s. Can't really complain about that. But unfortunately, it looks like we have a little bit of rain heading our way for the weekend. We'll break that down and coming up in just a few minutes. But first, high temperatures across the region. Not a bad day. 78 on top of the hill at Duluth International. Tad cooler down by a lake where they only made it into the lower 70s. 74 in Superior, 80 in Grand, Grand, Grand Rapids, excuse me. 81 in Big Fork. Here's a current look. I have a look out to outside towards Duluth. 75 degrees right now for us with a southeast wind in plays at 8 miles per hour. And temperatures elsewhere across the region, most of us are sitting in the mid and upper 70s right now. So a great evening to get out and about for any Friday evening plans. Here's a look at satellite radar right now. Just a few clouds overhead for us here in the Northland. But as we zoom out, you can see there's a lot of rain off to our west, south and west. All that's going to gradually begin to fill in as we head through the weekend. We'll talk about any rain threats that come our way for this weekend coming up in just a bit. Kristen? Thanks, Peter. Still to come on Live at 5, a free event for pet owners on Sunday. More as we take you around the Northland after the break. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Vaki and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live Local CBS 3. CBS News Sunday morning with Jane Pauley on CBS. Do you worry about going to the dentist? Well, relax. The Carefree Dental Card is now available in your area. Call the number on your screen and we'll send your actual card at no cost today. With the Carefree Dental Card, you go to the dentist whenever you need and you instantly pay a lot less. The Carefree Dental Card is just $15.95 a month. So call now and make going to the dentist carefree. Call 1-800-945-8449 to receive your free Carefree Dental Card information kit. Are you ready to freshen up your summer wardrobe, but shopping stresses you out? Leave your worries on the rack as one of Angie's Closet stylists dress you. Set up your session today for your opportunity to shop a diverse variety of clothing and accessories, all curated to fit your style. Want to give your home a new summer look? Angie has you covered with her new home goods collection. Visit Angie's Closet today, located on Tower Avenue.
We buy old comic books, so dig them out. Your old comics might be worth more than you think. Comic Book Roadshow is coming to the Duluth area buying most vintage comics published before 1980. We're also buying original comic book art and pre-1980 toys and pre-1970 baseball cards. Sunday and Monday, June 27th and 28th. We'll be at Country Inn and Suites 4257 Haynes Road in Duluth from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. For more information, call toll-free 888-5-COMICS. That's 888-5-C-O-M-I-C-S. Turn those comics into cash. Rocket Drive Block? Rush of Soul Crush? Jam a Grand Slam? Drunk? Drunk? They'd be insane! Rolling that? Rolling this? Roll together? Drunk? That would be super insane! Hey, all you ladies and guys, drive sober on the road, no matter how many wheels you roll. This show is about connection. Not even 2020 and socially distancing ourselves are going to get in the way of that. Woo! The Kelly Clarkson Show on CBS3. Welcome back to the CBS3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look over Duluth tonight, where this weekend is sure to be busy across the region. From the air show to rib fest and even rhubarb fest, there is certainly something for the whole family. On the Iron Range tomorrow is the grand opening of the Redhead Mountain Bike Trail. And if you're in Wisconsin, don't forget about Musky Fest in Hayward. Peter will be joining us with this weekend's full forecast in just a few minutes, but first, let's take a look around the region. The DNR is hosting a public meeting next week, and store owners in Grand Rapids are giving back. All of that and more as we take you around the Northland, city by city. We start tonight in Cloquet, where Northern Lakes Rescue, Cloquet Police Department, and the Carleton County Sheriff's Office will be partnering this Sunday from 9 to 5 for a free pet microchipping event. The walk-up event will be held at Veterans Park. Carleton County residents can get their pets chipped for free, while non-residents will have to pay a fee of $20. Other pet services will be available for a fee and a food truck will be on site as well. Next, we head to Ashland, where next week the Wisconsin DNR will host a virtual meeting to share commercial fishery data and provide updates on new rules, including changes to commercial and guide reporting. One of the goals of the meeting is to share information about the Lake Superior Fisheries Management Plan. Officials say recreational and commercial fishing are crucial components of the region's economy tourism and culture. And we wrap up in Grand Rapids where local store owners are giving back. In January of 2020, Karen and Stephen Teff bought Clara's Cupboard, an antique store. Their mission was to give back to Second Harvest. Proceeds from donated goods go to the organization. After seeing success, they opened another store across the hall called Clara's Closet. And once the bills are paid, all sales from that store go straight to Second Harvest as well. July 1st will be one year since opening the second location and they will be celebrating with deals all month long. The couple says they are thankful to be able to give back to their community. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, one of our reporters went for quite the helicopter ride today. You don't want to miss this story. It's next. And we got a gorgeous night taking place up the North Shore right now, taking a live look at Grand Marais. Coming in with sunny and 70 degrees, but then today's sunshine might give way to a little bit of rain for this weekend. I'll break it all down coming up. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Cars is your local complete auto repair service. We have a large selection of tires in stock, on-site inventory, propane fill, and U-Haul rental. We are your certified auto repair center and have curbside pickup available. Call Cars today. Hi, I'm Steve Little with Bath Planet. We are starting summer out with a great special on all our bathroom products. Right now, you can get 20% off your entire project and zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2023. Get your project off your to-do list now and not pay for it until later. Go to bathplanet.com or call us today to take advantage of this amazing offer. Bath Planet, out of this world service, down to earth price. My name is Harry Podgorski, and I'm a proud member of the Board of Directors of St. Anne's Senior Residence. My mom lived at St. Anne's for nine years and called St. Anne's her home. 
If you're looking for a place for mom or dad or for yourself, please consider the affordable St. Anne. You won't be sorry you did. Take advantage of no move-in fees through August 1st, 2021. Call 218-727-8831 and schedule your tour today. When you live on the Iron Range near a mine, you feel the blast happen. The ground shakes. I remember in school, our, our school would shake on Thursdays at 11 a.m. So we would feel it, but we never got to see it. I want to go to the communities and find stories that haven't been told yet. I on Mining with Kristen Bucky Tuesdays at 10. People separate Duluth from the Iron Range. We're so intertwined. The Iron Range is good for Duluth, and Duluth is good for the Iron Range. We might be far up north, but we're an integral part of the state's economy and the state's history. Kristen Bakke, reliable news for the Iron Range. Gail King, Anthony Mason, and Tony DeCopo, weekday mornings on CBS. Gail King, Anthony Mason, and Tony DeCopo, weekday mornings on CBS. And welcome back. Not a bad day overall for us here in the Twin Ports. Duluth International coming in with a high of 78 degrees, just a tad above average, where our average sits right now is 75 degrees. And as you can see, last night we were right at average. And currently temperatures across the region, most of us are sitting in the mid and upper 70s. So definitely not a bad night to get outside, do any evening plans on this Friday night. The bad news, however, though, is we've got a lot of rain working our way. And that's going to be gradually begin to fill in as we head towards tomorrow and Sunday. The good news is not all this rain that you see off to our south and west is going to be coming to us here in the Northland. But there is a chance of showers every day, including Saturday and Sunday. But it's not going to be a washout by any means. We'll have a closer look at that forecast coming up in just a bit. But as you can see, a lot of clouds overhead for us right now here in the Northland. And those clouds are going to be gradually begin to increase as we head through the rest of the night tonight. Still in Wisconsin as well as the UP, rather mostly sunny skies overhead. But they, too, are going to be getting into cloud action momentarily as we head through the rest of this evening. Here's how your forecast shapes up for tonight. Tonight, as we head through the rest of the night, you can begin to see the clouds on the increase. And then by midnight, actually, you begin to see some rain showers fill in. And those will last kind of off and on through the morning hours tomorrow morning as well. By 7 a.m., you can see some rain for us here in the Twin Ports. But it's not heavy by any means. The good news is as we head through the rest of the day, the rain actually becomes a little bit more scattered in nature. So through the afternoon and the evening hours, you can see the rain just kind of sporadically dotting the radar. It's not going to be raining everywhere for everybody so not a bad day overall to get out and about probably just going to want to have an umbrella handy for any outdoor plans like the air show rhubarb fest anything like that but as we head towards saturday night into sunday the rain gives way to a little bit more in terms of clouds then. So I'd say for Saturday night into Sunday, probably just looking at clouds overhead. But then once again, as we head towards Sunday, you see the rain showers sporadically begin to dot the radar once again. So again, Sunday, probably not as bad as a day that it could be. Not going to be raining all the time for everybody. But I think we still see a little bit more in terms of rain than we did on Saturday. Also a shot at thunderstorms where that threat doesn't really exist for today, tomorrow. In terms of how much rain we're getting, it's not a whole heck of a lot, probably between a tenth and a quarter of inch for most locations, especially in Minnesota, Wisconsin, as well as the UP. They're coming in rather dry with this bout of rain. But the good news is for the air show, the air show is not looking awful. As you can see, just a rain threat for the day on Saturday and Sunday. 75 for a temperature tomorrow, 72 for the day on Sunday. Sunday, maybe an isolated shot of a thunderstorm or two. Just have your umbrella handy for as you're heading out the door for any Saturday and Sunday plans. But first, your forecast for tonight. Clouds are on the increase. Temperatures falling back into the mid and upper 50s for us up here in Minnesota. Down Wisconsin, temperatures down there are in the low to mid 50s as well. Uh, for today, tomorrow, temperatures climbing into the mid and upper 70s for most. We have that shot of rain shower or storm overhead and up here in Minnesota, 70s as well across the board. Here's how that seven-day forecast shapes up. Overall, it's not a bad seven-day, but you can see the rain threat for Saturday and Sunday. Rain threat continues for Monday into Tuesday as well, but it's not going to be raining all the time everywhere. Probably just want to have an umbrella handy, you know, those pop-up summer storms for the next few days. It's not a bad idea to have a little <laughs> light-hooded jacket yep. or an umbrella because of where we live. You, yeah. <laughs> it could rain and then it could be 85 degrees. That, so. That's summer in the Northland. We'll be prepared. Yep. Thanks, Peter. A big name in the U.S. Navy visited Duluth today. The commanding officer of the USS Minneapolis-St. Paul took a tour of the city while in town for the Duluth Air Show. 
Eventually, his ship is scheduled to be commissioned here in Duluth. He says today was a good chance to check out the place where their mission will begin. So the visit here allows us to get familiar with the city, meet the people, and kind of get a layout of, hey, what are, what are we going to and experience in the city? Their high-speed littoral combat ship was built at a Wisconsin shipyard and christened in 2019. The commissioning has been on hold after they found a design defect. The Duluth Air Show kicks off tomorrow and one of our reporters took the ride of a lifetime inside a stunt helicopter making a special appearance in the show. CBS 3's Abigail Smith rode along as Red Bull pilot Aaron Fitzgerald performed loops, rolls and expert maneuvers. All that while another plane chased and circled the chopper. This is the first time a trick helicopter will be featured in the Duluth Air Show. Fitzgerald says flying is close to his heart for a lot of reasons, making every flight more special than the last. I just enjoy the, the mixture of science and beauty and nature and poetry and excitement and everything all in one. You know, flying a helicopter is a lot of things, and, uh, and all those things combined make it something really unique and special that, uh, to me, is something I only get from flying a helicopter. Some other tricks include barrel rolls, half Cuban eights, and loops at zero air speed. Fitzgerald says that lets him do unique tricks like backflips and front flips. World-renowned pilot Kirby Chambliss flies the Red Bull Edge that will perform with the helicopter this weekend. It's that time of the show where we get to talk about adoptable pets, and today's pet comes to us from the Humane Society of Douglas County. This is Olive, a three-year-old female mastiff. Olive is a sweet girl who loves to play. She is very smart and house-trained. While Olive is well-behaved, she does need to be in a home without other animals. If you'd like to set up an appointment to adopt Olive, then you can call the number on your screen. Still to come, why one state's new election law is being challenged by the Justice Department. During the 4th of July mattress sale at Home Sleep Express, get $500 off Tempur-Pedic Breeze mattresses, plus no money down six-year special financing on any Tempur-Pedic with free delivery, setup, and a 120-day guarantee. Tempur-Pedic, now at Home Sleep Express. Funerals can be emotionally devastating for a family to go through. Besides the sorrow, loved ones are left with the high cost of arranging a funeral. Funeral Advantage was formed to help protect your family when they need it most. It pays your loved ones up to $20,000 immediately for funeral and any other expenses. It's a good feeling to know that my family will be taken care of if anything happens to me. Funerals can easily cost $9,000 or more, but government benefits pay only $255, leaving your loved ones to pay the rest. It's so easy just answer a few simple health questions. This is so affordable, even for someone like me who's on a fixed income. If you're 40 to 85, get information on how to protect your family. Funeral Advantage is something we all need. There's no risk or obligation. Call now. Get the facts about how easy it is to protect your family. There's no risk or obligation. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now. Coming up tonight at 6, a local nonprofit is honored with a national award for how they helped a neighborhood through 2020's ups and downs. Plus, Michigan's governor challenges residents to get vaccinated in hopes of getting things back to normal. No tienes aseguranza médica porque eres tu propio empleado, eres empleado de una compañía pequeña, trabajas medio tiempo, perdiste tu trabajo o te estás retirando. Buenas noticias, Minsure tiene un periodo especial de inscripción hasta el 16 de julio del 2021. Visita www.insuredeluth.org slash ayuda para mayor información hoy. Obtén aseguranza médica económica escogiendo Minsure. I've been teaching intro to meteorology here at Lake Superior College's Flight School since 2003. Every year now for the past 18 years, I've been able to sharpen my own skills again once a year, but it's like I'm retaking intro to meteorology, and so I remember the rules of the sky, and it's easier to impart those rules on these pilots that are going to need to learn these skills so they can stay safe in the sky. For the most local forecast from the most experienced local meteorologist, turn to Dave Anderson. Okay, Dad. One, two, three. Ah! You saved me. Dad? Are you okay? I'm 
Pathfinder. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. Strong, enduring, and timeless. Stickly, premium solid wood furniture made in America. Handcrafted by experienced artisans. For a limited time, get 35% off the Stickly Mission Collection during the Stickly Independence Day sale exclusively at Home Furniture. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Weeknights on CBS. The Justice Department is going to challenge Georgia's new election law in court. A lawsuit filed by the department claims the measure will disproportionately affect minority voters. And the DOJ says that was the intent of the Republican-led legislature that passed it. Natalie Brand reports from the White House. The Department of Justice is suing Georgia over its new voting law. Attorney General Merrick Garland argues the state's Election Integrity Act will make it harder for people to vote, especially communities of color. The complaint alleges that the state enacted those restrictions with the purpose of denying or abridging the right to vote on account of race or color. This is the first major voting rights case brought by the Justice Department under the Biden administration. It comes as a number of Republican-controlled state legislatures have passed bills that critics say will restrict the right to vote. The rights of all eligible citizens to vote are the central pillars of our democracy. Georgia passed its sweeping bill in March following record turnout in 2020. The suit filed by the DOJ Friday takes aim at several provisions, including new voter ID requirements, limiting the use of ballot drop boxes, and a ban on efforts by churches and civic groups to give food and water to people waiting in line. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp responded, There's somebody lying to you about SB 202, the Elections Integrity Act that was passed in Georgia, and it is not me. Separate from the DOJ suit, the White House says the president will soon hit the road to make the case for expanding voting rights, taking the fight to the state level. It's a priority to the president to engage, educate, empower people to know what their rights are. We want to work with states and local authorities to do exactly that. Meanwhile, the DOJ says it's looking at other recently passed state election laws and launching a task force focused on threats made against election officials. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. Coming up on the CBS Evening News. The desperate search for survivors after the catastrophic building collapse in Florida with more than 150 people still unaccounted for. What rescuers are doing to try to find any possible signs of life amid the wreckage. Plus, the powerful words from George Floyd's daughter during the sentencing of Derek Chauvin today. And our Steve Hartman with a look at why it's so important to hold out hope. That's tonight on the CBS Evening News. CBS3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Pharmacies. Keeping things safe, simple, and convenient through mail, local delivery, drive through and curbside pickup services. Hi, I'm Steve Little with Bath Linen. We are starting summer out with a great special on all our bathroom products. Right now, you can get 20% off your entire project and zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2023. Get your project off your to-do list now and not pay for it until later. Go to bathplanet.com or call us today to take advantage of this amazing offer. Bath Planet, out of this world service, down to earth price. Here at locally owned Adolphson Real Estate, we are ready to help you find the perfect office space to fit your business's needs with no extra fees. Take a look at this attractive standalone building in a busy and visible location in Moose Lake. Please call our Cloquet office for more details. Call us today to schedule a tour at Adolphson Real Estate. UCARE is out decomplicating health plans all over the state. We're proud to be in Embarrass, bringing family plans to fertile. Aww. Helping folks rest easy in sleepy eye. And smart advice to Nimrod D. Yes. <laughs> even a word. We make plans clear in crystal, and we've been a staple here since 1984. With over 40,000 doctors, specialists, and providers in our networks, we're getting more welcomes every day. You care. People-powered health plans. At Miners National Bank, we believe in the importance of reinvesting in our community. That's why we created the Grant Pierce Plaza, and within it, Coffee on Main. In our latest endeavor, we are serving coffee to serve our community. We created a place where people can come together and be together. From lattes and mochas to smoothies and baked goods, we have something for everyone. We are excited to carry on the tradition of serving our community both today and tomorrow. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Get your news on the go, the CBS3 mobile app.
Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Our buy one, get one for a buck suit and sport coat sale is now in progress. Hundreds of options. Mainstream, downtown Duluth. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Friday evening. Let's take a look back at today's top story and we'll see what's coming up tonight at 6. Tonight at 5, we learned Derek Chauvin's fate as Judge Cahill sentenced him to 22 and a half years for the murder of George Floyd. Chauvin is expected to appeal and still faces a federal civil lawsuit case. And coming up tonight on the CBS 3 News at 6, last night at 10, we took you inside the abandoned Central High School building. Tonight, we're learning more after the school board approved a $31 million bond request that includes money to demolish the site. We'll tell you what else that money will go towards tonight at 6. That's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is up next. We'll see you right back here at 6.